hello lovely people out there welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create magazine using adobe design so it's going to basically be a professional magazine and i'm going to show you the finished work consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial we're going to create a, a standard magazine i'm going to show you how to set up everything and start creating that so if you check over here i have my finished work over here. this is my standard magazine the completed work i have it right here okay so we're going to learn how we can create the setup our pages and we can start creating magazine okay so let's jump right into action and see how to create this standard magazine for any company at all okay so let's jump into action let's open adobe indesign so this is just the work i'm still doing that i'm not done yet so let's start and see how we can create this so go to file and then you go to what new and then go to document when you click on document it's going to give you this dialog box all you need to do is print you want this document to be printed out so just click on print and then you select the page you want to use in this case i want to use a4 so i'll select a4 and then mostly i select the units that i'm okay with in this case i want to select centimeters and you have to set up the number of pages you want to use with Adobe InDesign, you can add pages as you progress. You don't have to be bothered and set up the pages over here. I'll show you how to add extra pages after we leave this page. So set up the column for now. I'm going to put two over there in order for you to understand. So just type two and then every other thing over here is going to be default for now. I'll explain them into details later on when you're creating a complete magazine. This is just an introduction course to designing magazines. So let me just click on create okay so now that we have this page set up this is just a number of page the first page as i said as i said we can add more pages as we progress so let's say once you add your page we have the properties option over here and we're going to use some of this property option the next option over here the tab is for pages so i have one page as you can see from my panel you can add extra pages by just right clicking and go to what insert pages so if I want two additional pages, all I need to do is to sell insert two. So type two and click on what? Okay. You can see automatically I have my first page two and then three. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a number to this page. You can number your pages automatically. So if you come here, we have another panel called what? A dash parent. That is where you can add your page numbers and other things. So just double click on the first one. That is this. And then it's going to open this you may not see any change but it's actually open this first page let's try and then insert a page number so it's go to your type tool and then drag where you want to add your page number in this case i want to add it right here so i'll just do this and then type so i'm going to type page hyphen and type page all you need to do is to go to type and then go to what insert special characters and then go to what markers and we want current page number anytime we go to a new page so click on what current page number you will see the number a over there don't be bothered just select and then let's bold in this so what i need to do is that we have the property option just go there and then we can increase the size you can also do that using the tab at the top of it so this is the font size just click on that and increase the font size and if you want to do any additional thing, you can do that. If you want to set up a background color for this, we can do that. But I'm just explaining how this is going to work. And then we need a copy for the second part of our page. You can just select this, go to edit menu and then click on copy. And then go back to edit and then paste this. So we're going to have a two copy of this. We'll drag one to the left hand side. So we'll drag one to the right hand side rather. We have this set up over here. That is all we need to do. Don't worry about what is going to happen. Just go back to your pages. And then now when you click on any of your page, you can see it's numbered what automatically. Page one. If you come here, you're going to have page two, page three. So page two is over here. If I go ahead and add extra page, let's say I add more, five more pages. These pages will be numbered automatically. So let's go down and see what happened. You see four, five six seven so the pages will be numbered automatically so now let's do a few designs and see how this is going to work okay i actually want to if you want to do any changes to your page numbers you can do that so we just double click on this i prefer this coming down 
the fed is coming down you can use your arrow key to move this down and just do this one as well okay so when you go back to our pages this will be updated as well so let's leave this and then do some simple design i'm going to zoom in and then i'm going to try my first design so let's say we want to set up i'm going to work with this i want to set up a simple magazine so we want to include image so we have if you go to our two option we have the rectangle frame we can use to add more image to our page so i'll select that and then drag it where i want to add any image okay so this is the rectangular frame and we want to add image just go and then select image any image you want to use so in this case i want to add this image just drag and drop it and this image will be fixed over there with your move to selected you can move this around so let's do a simple design and i want to do some few editing to this you can also do add image by going to file and then go to a place to go and select your image so with this selected i can start doing few changes let's add some background so select rectangle to rectangle to select and then just drag this across like this and then let's fill this with a color so with a fill let's go to our property option and let's select fill and then apply a color so i'm going to use this pink color you can see this is on top of our image we can easily place this below the image so just right click and go to make sure your image is selected that's the rectangle right click and go towards arrange and let's send toward back so this will be below this image and then we want to add a text as well let's add some text so let's go to our type tool again select our type tool and then let's draw where we want to add our text okay let's say i want to add a text over here i'll just select that and then let's go to our document and then just pick any text okay so i have this lorem text i've generated if you want to learn how to generate this lorem text just type equal to lorem in word into brackets state the number of columns you want that's paragraph comma five and then hit enter it's going to generate some default text for you so i'll select this and then go and then paste this so my cursor is already blinking so i'll just control what i'll just control v to paste so i'll just go to the edit option to paste this so now we have added some text once you add any text all the properties are available you can change the font size from here so i'm going to use area we just type the font you want to use and then you can increase the font size currently we're 12 so i can increase the size and then the alignment so we have the paragraph so i will justify to do this and then you can see my font is very deep so i'm using area black and change this to what narrow you can do that as well and then i'll increase the font size a bit okay and we have several things you can do but if you want to drop caps you can do that as well so over here down here under the same property option if you come down we have option to what draw cap so when you start clicking it where any paragraph you want to drop a cap just select a paragraph or click within that paragraph and start clicking on the drop cap option it's going to apply the drop cap properties to that so let's just give some paragraph and let's see you want to add another drop cap here just click over then they come down here property option and then we apply the drop cap okay so this is amazing over here you can see there is some hyphenation some hyphens some hyphen have been added to this if you want to format it neatly we can just go to the tools option over here if you can't see this just go to windows and select or control and it's going to give you this panel at the top come to paragraph and then you have this hyphen just and check this and anytime you have any hyphen there select any paragraph and check this and you're going to remove all the hyphens from there for you okay consider subscribing because there's amazing content coming right here on this channel you don't need to mix that okay so just do this to select the hyphen and everything is going to look so neat for you okay so we have this if you have additional things you want to add to this you can go ahead and then do that as well so we can go ahead and add more text you can add more text to this and start doing your changes so just select this and then the formatting options are available to us and we can start doing any change at all we want 
we can just add the title, maybe the name of the person to this. We can go ahead and we can also add a divider to this. If one to apply some division to this, I can do that. So we have the line over here. Yes, select that. Hold on shift in order to get a perfect line. Then you can draw a line through like this. And it's going to apply some division to this. There are several ways you can do this magazine that will look so attractive. You can see the final ways. Consider subscribing in order to get more updates and see how I can create a complete magazine. This is just an introduction lesson. I will learn how we can create a standard magazine just like this one in my videos to come. So consider subscribing so you don't miss that video. So you see how the setup is going to look. And if we export this, we are actually going to see how good this is going to look like. Okay. So this is basically, we have several options that I'll be talking about. The tools option. If you want to preview, see how this is looking. So this is how to create a standard magazine using what Adobe InDesign. So there are several other things that is going to happen right here on this channel. Consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial because I'm going to show you a lot right here on this channel and you need to subscribe in order to get alerts as well anytime we create a new content and uploaded it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till I come away again, remember to always visit my channel, like and subscribe. Bye-bye.